Hi everybody, welcome to my shop. Today I'm going to make a small TV console unit out of these three 1x12s. So hang out with me and watch me make it. This TV console is for a friend of mine who has trouble finding smaller scale furniture to fit in his condo. Now, I already made a bookcase for him, so I'm going to stick to the same simple, quick, and easy style as that. Now, my friend provided me a measured drawing of what he needs in order to fit all of his electronics into the console. So, I took that and made a more to scale drawing with the cut list to make it easy to build. Now, if you live in an apartment or a condo, this might be a TV console that you're interested in. So, I'll provide a PDF of this plan in case you'd like to make one. So let's get started. It's a beautiful day outside, so let's go outside and cut the boards to length. The console will be only 10 inches deep, except for the top, which will overhang a little bit in the back. So I need to rip all of the boards down to 10 inches wide. I could use pocket screws for this project, but I thought the pocket holes might be too visible. So I'm going to revert back to my old standby, which is to drill a shallow 3 8 inch hole with the spade bit, pre-drill with an 8 inch drill bit, insert a drywall screw, and then cover the screw head by gluing in a 3 8 inch dowel, and then once that dries, trim off the top of the dowel with a flush trim saw. My friend wants to have adjustable shelves in the bottom of the unit. So I threw together this drilling guide to help me drill shelf pin holes in all of the sides. Now that I've drilled all of the holes for the shelf pins, I can finish putting this TV console together. But unfortunately, that means that this is probably the best time to do lots of sanding. The top of the unit needs to be 12 inches wide so it'll overhang the back by 2 inches. Now a standard 1x12 is only 11 and a quarter inches wide. So what I need to do is rip a 3 quarter inch wide piece that I can glue and pin nail onto the back. I'm going to cover most of the back of the unit with some of this thin Luan plywood and I need to cut some access holes for wiring and cabling. That thing's so cool. <laughs> Let's go cut some pieces. Now I'm going to make two doors for this section and they're basically going to be picture frames with a rabbit around the inside because my friend wants to put in frosted glass panels.
on this project is done. All the woodworking is complete. So I get to pass this project off to my friend who's going to apply his choice of finish. Also, he talked about adding some glass shelves on each side. So I've got shelf pin holes in there that will allow him to do that. Uh, he talked about putting lights at the top up here that will shine down through the shelves. So that sounds really cool. And he's also going to put the frosted glass panels into the doors. So I can't wait to see what it looks like when he's finished. And if you would like to see the finished project, follow me over on my Facebook page or my Instagram where I will post a picture of the finished project. Uh, if this is your first time seeing one of my videos, please don't forget to subscribe for more projects like this. Also, please click the like button if you like this video, share it with your friends, and leave me a comment below. Uh, don't forget, I will have a free PDF uh, measure drawing of this project over on my website at thecarmichaelworkshop.com. So as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.